Hello and welcome to Runkle to the Bailey. My name is Ian Runkle. I'm a Canadian criminal defense and firearms lawyer. Recently, the Liberal government decided to take Bill C-21, which was already a bad bit of legislation, and add a huge number of gun bans to it. Now, they did this late in the day after all the debate and discussion and expert testimony had already gone on, so that's kind of its own issue. But now the amendment's contents, and thus the full list of guns they want to ban, has been made public, and one thing jumped out at a lot of people, and that is this item right here, the Serbu Buttmaster. So if this amendment and Bill C-21 go through, uh, the Serbu Buttmaster will be banned in Canada. Now, like many people, I noticed this one and thought it was kind of a funny name, but I didn't know anything about this particular gun. That has since changed because Mr. Serbu has done a video on the Buttmaster. And I'm going to link that in the description below. You should check it out. It's a good video. I'm not going to use snippets of it here because, quite frankly, I don't want to step on his toes. He did an excellent video, and so I'll just let that stand. However, there are a few things that are sort of important to take away. The first is that this is kind of a handheld item that is an, a bit of an unusual item. It's a single shot 22 caliber pistol with a very short barrel and it's basically a sort of cylinder shape and it's designed to be fired with this little toggle on it. Now this would already have been banned under Canadian law and that's because of this section right here. Prohibited fire means a handgun that has a barrel equal to or less than 105 millimeters in length or and it doesn't fire a 25 or 32 caliber cartridge so we don't need to worry about that but the barrel being short is enough and there is an exception there does not include any such handgun that is prescribed where the handgun is for use in an, in international sporting com competitions governed by the rules of the international shooting union I'm pretty sure that the International Shooting Union does not specify a sport involving the Buttmaster. So, um, that's it. It's already covered as banned. Nevertheless, the Liberal government felt that it was important to specifically call this one out and specifically identify it as banned going forward. Okay, so this raises some interesting questions. And the first one is one that Mr. Serbu raises in his video, which is, how does the Canadian government learn that this thing exists? He'd mentioned it in some obscure places, but certainly the RCMP would never have had the opportunity to examine the Buttmaster because it's never actually been in Canada. He built one of them, only one, and still owns it. It's never left his possession. So the RCMP's labs have never examined the Buttmaster. They've never, you know, recovered one from a crime scene. This is a bit of an unusual thing. Now his theory, and I think it's probably a good one, is that they got this from the NFA registration on this thing, and thus that the U.S. government is providing the Canadian government with a bunch of information about guns, which raises some interesting questions about whether that information is supposed to be shared in this fashion. Now, he's, of course, unable to confirm that this is actually how they got it. This is just speculation, but it seems like the only possible way. However, um, I'm in a bit of a better position because as a Canadian citizen, I'm curious about this too. So I've put in some access to information requests so that maybe we can learn why the government is so interested in the Buttmaster. It seems unusual that they would specifically identify this as something that needs to be banned. And I would say that this is probably indicative of the fact that this list is not really driven by public safety concerns. There is no public safety concern in Canada with respect to the Serbu Buttmaster. Again, only one's ever been manufactured, and I don't think he's making any more. And certainly, I don't think anyone else is going to pick up this design and start knocking them out. So, really, we're talking about a singular, unique gun. Only one in the universe that is in one particular guy's home. 
Yeah. Um, Toronto gangsters are not shooting each other with butt masters. And the reason why it got the name is partially because of the shape, which suggests that it might be um, insertable. I don't see that, um, you know, that gangsters have this big market for an insertable firearm. They usually prefer handguns smuggled from the U.S., not butt guns smuggled from the U.S. This is just such an unusual thing for them to want to specifically name. It really suggests that this is not a list driven by, you know, actual concerns from the real world, but instead basically just looking through and sort of going through a shopping list and identifying things that they think, you know what, we'll ban this too. Um, that I think is kind of a poor way to go about this. But again, it was already banned. It's really hard to imagine a scenario where this thing is going to be the top of the priority list. Because again, it's a single shot gun. It's got no real way to aim it. It's just kind of a joke. And unless you're imagining that like Danny Ocean is going to break into Mr. Serbu's house to steal the Buttmaster for some sort of purpose of smuggling it in there because suddenly Danny Ocean is into that somehow. It's such a weird, weird scenario here. So this one, I mean, we have an answer now as to what this is and what this one's about, but it really kind of raises more questions. As I said, I filed an access to information uh, request there. I'm hoping we'll get that information. But you should know that the timeline on those applications tends to be somewhere around the heat death of the universe. And I suspect that given that it looks like the Liberal Party is pushing for a spring election um, and that this might be awkward information, I suspect that this will be pushed well past then and it won't be any time soon that we'll, uh, we'll hear about this one. So... Anyway, lots of people have been asking me to comment about the Buttmaster, so I guess I'm doing a video about it. An insertable firearm. Sometimes this YouTube thing is weird. Just gonna say it. Um, this is also the weirdest ATIP request I've ever filed and that I expect I ever will file. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you found this to be interesting or educational. Um, if you're looking for insertable items, I recommend pretty much anything other than the Buttmaster because I can't imagine that's the safest thing either. Um, I want to thank my Patreon supporters at the $50 level, Canada's National Firearms Association, the CCFR, and the Canadian Shooting Sports Association. At the $30 level, Jane Babe and Luxor and Sights and Arms Limited. A great little gun store, but I can assure you they do not sell the Buttmaster. And at the $20 level, Mark, Lindsay Metcalf, Kyle Fox, Haywire, Gerald to the Bailey, Dale Nesbitt, Cameron Johnson, Andrew Elsich, and Vicky. Thank you as well to my $10 supporters who will be in the crawl immediately following. Thank you for watching. I hope this has armed you with knowledge.